What's up, my wonderful world of YouTube? My name's Chris. Tuned into Motivated Living. That's been my intro line for as far back as I remember. Guess if the wheel ain't broke. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to share my scent of the evening. It's bedtime, so I'm about to be going to bed loud. Now, some of us who have, or some of us who are well versed in Parfums de Marley know right away what bottle this is. It's a couple of years back, I wouldn't have known what the dark this one was, you know. <laughs> but I'm going to discuss my scent of the evening. Toy of the Day's Sully. Little story behind that. Uh, this was a gift from my mother for Christmas. Uh, I'll get to the story the toy toy comes later whether it be fragrance or just talking and I have a cool little talk session to bring up too but that won't be today so let's jump right in Parfums de Marley Layton yeah I would say it is my favorite niche house not only is it the house that I own the most of their fragrances they have something for all seasons all moods they got old man vibe stuff they got fresh young hip stuff they've got uh winter bangers summer bangers fall bangers uh, did i miss a season i know i did but yeah that other one they cover all the bases i i really like perfumes to marley and um, almost would have to say galloway is my favorite galloway carlisle ojan habden Captain doesn't get spoke of enough. Leighton, Percival, Galloway, Greenlee, Sedley. I like all of them a lot. And there's more too. But Leighton, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, this isn't a review. This is just a guy talking about fragrance. Just giving y'all videos, you know. If you like it, you like it. I hope so. I appreciate you nonetheless stopping by. Show you the bottle in a little bit. Now this is a tester bottle. Just because I got the hook up. It even says tester on it. Yeah, tester not for sale. So I didn't buy this. <laughs> I'm fibbing. I, I bought this. <laughs> if I can tell you where I bought it from. So it's a tester. So the only thing about a tester is it comes in a plain white box. Some testers don't have caps. Parfums de Marley do. That heavy, you can throw this and catch a, a felony because they're heavy, heavy heavy like you don't want to drop one of them on your toes it's heavier than the bottle i think but that's also one of their little signature things to help check your legitimacy see the atomizer they got good atomizers and these are easy to decant too you see but now like the creed testers you won't have a cap but the mfks you do the rojas if you can get them yeah, no, you won't. So that's it. Let me jump right in real quick. I don't want to babble and keep y'all too long. Let's keep this kind of to the point quick, which is hard for me to do. Uh, it gets a 4.46 on Fraganica scale out of 5. Came out in 2016. Hamid Marathi Kashani is the perfumer. Uh, top notes are, and they're even on the bottle. That's the cool thing about these testers. They've got the pyramid. So here, I'll read it off the bottom. Top notes, bergamot, mandarin, apple, lavender. And now, off of Fragranica, it says apple, lavender, bergamot, mandarin, orange. Your heart note, violet, jasmine, and geranium. Now, if you come over to base notes, it says geranium, violet, jasmine. So far, it's right on. A lot of times, I notice some things are off on the other, but... Okay, your base note, gaiac wood, patchouli, sandalwood, cardamom, vanilla, pepper. Uh, vanilla, cardamom, sandalwood, pepper, patchouli, gaiac wood. So they got that, they got that on point. Leighton was a fragrance. When I first smelled it, I was still fairly new into my fragrance journey. I was 
just testing my feet in the niche realm. I didn't like this the first time I smelled it at all. Like I thought it was just like, yeah, whatever. And I think I gave the decan away. I think I gave a couple of them away. Um, since then, of course, I got into decanning and I've had this bottle, not this particular one, but Leighton multiple, multiple times. And of course I'll wear it while I have it in there and I'll decan it out and then sell the partial part with it, you know, however. Uh, certain ones I won't, or unless I'm replacing it with a full, you know, I just rotate them out. Uh, but in time it's grown on me. And for a long time I started even liking the Nishane, or Nishane, I don't know how to say it, um, Annie. I still like Annie a lot, but Annie is a little louder, a little more disrespectful. Annie's a powerhouse. Layton's a powerhouse, too. But Layton seems to be a little more mass appealing. Um, I don't know. A little more light. It's a little smoother. Annie's more rough around the edges, so to speak. Uh, which is probably why I liked it faster, originally. But Layton's one of them fragrances. It's uplifting. It's People like it. Uh, well, those who can get pa past the uh, menthol Vicks-type smell... Uh, I don't know if anyone's heard that, but to me, yes, it's true. And, but I like it, which is really weird. There's no menthol, eucalyptus, there's no any of this stuff like I've had together in other fragrances, and I never smell. So, you know, here, here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to go back and, so if there's clips in here, I'm going to edit out all these stalls because I'm stumbling and bumbling. I'm tired. Um. My apologies, but I'm going to go clean this video up. I'm going to look up the notes on Annie. And I want to compare them to this and see if maybe we can figure out that opening smell, where it's coming from. Um, that came out in 19, so three years after Leighton. Now see with Annie, the Nishane, or Nishane, I need to figure out how that's said. I need to message like, Sebastian, or go watch his videos or something. Um, top notes are ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, and green notes. Middle notes are cardamom, black currant, Turkish rose. Base notes, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, musk, and ambergris. I mean, there's several components that match up in the notes, but there's several that do not. So I don't know what could be causing that medicinal opening that we smell and my wife doesn't like it at all now I'll, I can wear Leighton around her she doesn't say nothing bad I put that Annie on she'll call me a medicine cabinet medicine cabinet them aren't the words she used but she's like me the muscle rub so yeah that's Annie anytime I put Annie on she does not like it she said hey that's one way to keep women away from me <laughs> You know, um, Leighton's not as harsh. I can wear Leighton around her, and I don't really hear that. You know, that, that <laughs> I don't really hear that statement. So that's that on that. Um, Leighton's a banger. I'd say four out of five on your siage on it. Uh, four out of five on your performance in general. Um, I mean, it lasts. It'll get you through the day. It does me. I spray it I spray it on and get several hours out of it personally now I am one who sometimes oversprays okay I, mean, I don't know all depends and I spray often regardless you know if I'm not I'm gonna be away from home I'll take some of it with me you know I even have a little decants made for my wife to keep down in her purse to you know she take it with her you know, if we're gonna be but if I'm at home, which I am, pretty much all the time, I'll turn and reach and reapply. If I don't smell it, because I've always been a fan of openings in a fragrance, you know, and not the. And I mean, I like when they grow and change on your skin as you go, but there's something about that fresh opening blast of a fragrance that I've always really liked. And I think that's why when I first started my fragrance journey, it was make or break. So I would spray it on, 
And if I didn't like it right away, that bottle would be gone. And I didn't buy most of them again to give them another chance. So, I don't know. I don't want to drag this out too long. Now, the toy, the Sully. I'm wrapping this fragrance thing up. Thanks for watching. Now, if y'all want to check out the figure, he sits down there on the shelf on the floor. Um, there he is. See, a long time ago... It's been about a decade, and I won't go into the full story of how, but I ended up with a stuff Sully from Build-A-Bear. Yeah, and it's just all these years it's stuck around. So, no, I don't cuddle with it anymore. I got my wife and my dogs. <laughs> Tail moves, got points of articulation. Uh, this was found at um, Ollie's. So I went there looking for Transformers and stuff with my mom. And I put it in the cart, and then I was like, I don't need this, you know. I thought about it, but I ended up not buying it. I just left it there. Well, Christmas time this year. Um, yeah. <laughs> there he was. She went back and ended up grabbing him later from my dear mother. Bless her heart. Pretty cool little figure, though. He just sits down there. Um... I'm going to try to just show a figure with every video. I'm going to try something to do. I don't know. Do I play with these? Not like you would think. I mean, the Jets, yeah. Like I have the Transformer Jet. I have a few of them. And a lot of them will stay in Jet mode. There's Jet Fire. I'll talk about him in another video. This took... I've wanted one of these for a long time. And then I have the Top Gun Jet up there. I haven't opened him because that thing costs a car payment <laughs> no. but I'll keep them around and sometimes I'll I'm like this one shoots uh, well, I thought he did maybe it wasn't this one it had like a little cannon that shoots I thought he did I guess not oh yeah he does yeah I'll shoot a little rocket <laughs> but for the most part they were just me buying stuff to buy stuff you know we trade one addiction for another it seems and they sit over there on the shelves and sometimes I'll take them down hold them in the black light or something but they're just they're cool little trinkets so I don't know big kid that's it y'all have a good day have a good night yeah. stay blessed take care of yourselves make the best out of this life it's what we have you know uh, that's that oh yeah yeah before I go because I, I wrote this down so if you go to checkfresh.com you can put down the company who makes the fragrance and then put your batch number there in and it will tell you when it's from like this is from May of 2000 but like this one was from I think 18 2018 this Galloway something like that I looked them up but it might have been that one one of them one of them's older than the other the one that's getting low is a little older. And, uh, you know, kind of cool, I guess. Some people believe the motor batches of stuff are more potent. And it's true in a lot of cases because certain things have came in and changed. Uh, stuff's a little more watered down sometimes, so it seems. Some of the newer things compared to the older things. I don't know. I say yes and no. just depends what you're getting and how they're stored and taken care of. And that's that. So, all right, I'm not going to bump, I'm not going to just drag it on anymore. I'm tired. You can tell I'm about to start nodding off. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Much love. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all soon, I promise. Peace.